I think it was probably maybe a year or two, or really right after we had gotten married, we were going to church, but we had no connection. We weren't uh, making any close relationships. And it was almost like we were going through the motions. I knew better and my, my emotions were like, oh, this is just comfortable. Right now we're just figuring some things out and we'll be all right and eventually we'll get into it. But I think I let it get too comfortable. We lived out in the outskirts of Houston. I lost my job. Um, so another you know, moment in my life where I um, feel like you hit rock bottom again and not sure what to do. Todd had just actually um, left and retired um, from police work. Um, I had had a great job and um, I thought it was gonna be my career forever. Just before Christmas of 2016, she had got an offer. All right, Lord, let's find the church and then we'll get the house. He kept us to that, <laughs> almost to the day. A lot of churches had small groups during the week, but they didn't have them on Sunday morning. And that was important to us. We never saw one church around that really had the small group mentality, um, something that really was big part that we were looking for and um, when we stepped in to Cross Life we just knew that the way that the small groups were, the folks there that it were very inviting, um, it was our church. What I found um, in small groups is that it's really an inspiration to be able to talk with other ladies um, and other couples um, about um, what I'm going through in life um, and have someone pray for me, um, but it's also strengthened um, my walk with the Lord. I I've known the significance. I grew up in church and I had a good youth group and I was always had those relationships that I knew were important and people to keep you accountable when you weren't maybe doing what you should. I've learned a lot since we actually have started leading together. She has a different gift than I do. I, I teach and she directs. She kind of takes care of the, the memberships and getting to know the other adults in the class. Serving with others, it really does um, give you a sense that um, the Lord is really, really working in other people's lives and, and not only others, but yours as well. To know that, yeah, I'm investing my life in, in these people that I'm teaching, but at the same time, I'm being taught by them. And that's what Proverbs says, iron sharpens iron. And it, it's just, it's given me a growth and I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop growing. It's really been cool. <laughs>